Hey Flutter developers, welcome back to Astrodev's channel. Today we are going to explore the top 10 mistakes you should avoid when coding in Flutter. Let's dive in. Number 1. One common mistake developers make is not using stateless or stateful widget appropriately. Imagine you have a widget that displays static content. Using a stateless widget is ideal because it doesn't maintain any state. However, if your widget needs to handle user interactions or update based on external data, then using a stateful widget is necessary to manage its state internally. Number 2. Forgetting to use keys in your widgets can lead to unexpected behavior. Keys are crucial, especially when dealing with dynamic widgets or reordering scenarios. Let's say you have a list where items can be added or removed. Using keys ensures Flutter can efficiently update the UI without losing widget state. Number 3. Overly nesting widgets can degrade performance. Picture a widget tree with deep levels of nesting. This not only makes the code harder to maintain, but also impacts performance. Keeping your widget tree flat whenever possible improves performance and readability. Number 4. Ignoring platform differences can result in a poor user experience. Flutter allows us to build apps for multiple platforms, but each platform has its own guidelines. For instance, while material design works well on Android, iOS users might prefer Cupertino-style components. Adapting your UI to match platform expectations is key. Number 5. Inefficient use of layout widgets like column, row, or list view can lead to performance issues. Let's say you have a large dataset displayed in a list. Using listview.builder efficiently renders items as needed, improving app performance compared to loading them all at once. Number 6. Failing to handle errors gracefully can lead to crashes. Imagine your app makes a network request but encounters an error. Using trial catch blocks ensures you can handle errors gracefully, preventing crashes and maintaining smooth user experience. Number 7. Choosing the wrong state management solution can lead to bugs and complexity. Flutter offers various options like provider, block, or redux. Selecting the right one for your app's needs ensures efficient state management and simplifies code maintenance. Number 8. Mixing business logic with UI code can make your code base hard to maintain. Separating business logic into separate classes or packages improves maintainability and testability. For instance, a separate class for data processing keeps UI widgets focused on presentation. Number 9. Ignoring widget lifecycle methods can lead to memory leaks. Widgets in Flutter have lifecycle methods like initState, Dispose, or DidUpdateWidget. Utilizing these methods correctly ensures efficient resource management and prevents memory leaks. Number 10. Skipping tests can make it challenging to ensure code correctness. Flutter provides robust supporting for testing, including unit tests and widget tests. Writing tests for your code base helps catch bugs early and ensures your app functions as expected. And there you have it, by avoiding these common mistakes, you'll be on your way to building high-quality Flutter apps. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Flutter tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding!